and welcome to another V Kids Sunday. It's great to have you with us again today, isn't it, Hamilton? Now, Hamilton, has anybody sent any jokes in to us this week? They have? Okay, tell us, who sent in the joke for today? This one's from Anna, and Anna actually wrote this joke herself. Okay, Hamilton, what is it? So, the joke is, what did the leaf do when it ate ice cream? What did the leaf do when it ate ice cream? Hmm. Go on, Hamilton, what's the answer? It got brain trees. Oh, very good, Anna. Thank you for sending that one in to us. And don't forget, if you've got a joke to send us, send it in at vkids at vintagechurchla.com and I can pass it over to Hamilton and he can share it with us on a Sunday morning. Okay, Hamilton, should we get started? Yes, we've got so much for you today. We've got a new worship song, we've got our response time, and we've got our story. So let's get started now. It's time for our story. And do you remember last week we met our new friend? Well, I'm very excited that this week she's back to recap the story and tell us where we can find today's story in our Bible. So, Hamilton, should we say hello to Granny Page Turner and she's going to tell us about the story now. Oh, hello dearies, there you are again. It's lovely to see you again this week. Now. I seem to have lost one of my knitting needles. Can you see, anyone see where it is? Oh, in, is it in, oh, there it is. Thank you, dearies. Now, do you remember last week we learnt about how Jesus was baptised by John the Baptist, wasn't he? Do you remember, dears? And how that was how we knew that the rescue had begun. Yes. Well, this week, if I can just find my Bible. Oh, here it is under my cup of tea again, dears. Now it's going to be on page 208 in your Bible and the, the name of it is Let's Go. And we're going to learn all about how Jesus chose his helpers. Are you excited to learn about that, dearies? Yes, so am I. So let's sit comfortably and hear the story now. Let's go. After Jesus was baptised, he went straight out into the desert. Now that might seem like an odd place to go because, as you know, deserts are very hot and there isn't any food or water or places to stay. But Jesus needed to get away by himself and be somewhere quiet and lonely. He needed to be with his heavenly Father to get ready for his new life. In the desert, Jesus thought about the secret rescue plan he had made with God. Before the foundation of the world, they both knew what would have to happen. To rescue God's children, Jesus would have to die. There was no other way. It was the reason he had come. Now, that old enemy, the one who had spoken through the snake to Adam and Eve back in the garden, hmm? remember him? He didn't want Jesus to rescue God's people. So he lied to Jesus. Are you really? God's own son, he whispered. Poor you. God must not love you. You don't need to die. Do it my way. Yes, and no, Jesus said to the liar. I will do what God says. And from that moment on, nothing would ever be the same. Jesus wasn't like Adam. Oh, Jesus was a new kind of man. He would not believe the terrible lie that the enemy spoke. Jesus knew God loved him, and he would trust God no matter what. It was just as God had promised to Adam and Eve all those years before. Jesus had come to do battle against the snake's work. He would get rid of the sin and the darkness and the tears, and he would suffer, but he would win. Jesus left the desert and set about the great rescue. 
he was going to get God's people back. But first, he needed to find some helpers and friends. He had a lot to do. He would need some people to help him. Who would make good helpers, do you think? Clever ones? Rich ones? Strong, important ones? Some people might think so, but I'm sure by now you don't need me to tell you they'd be wrong, because the people God uses don't have to know a lot of things or have a lot of things. They just have to need him a lot. One day, Jesus was walking by the Sea of Galilee when he saw some brothers and friends mending their nets. They were poor fishermen. Jesus called out to them, Let's go! Peter, Andrew, James and John looked up at this man on the shore. And they couldn't explain it. Their boats needed to be put away, their nets needed mending, fish were still wriggling on the shore. But something about this stranger made them just drop their nets and their fish, leave their boats and everything, and follow him. This God-man was like no one they had ever met. When they looked at Jesus, their hearts filled up with a wonderful, forever sort of happiness, and inside it was as if they were running free in an open field. Jesus asked twelve men to be his helpers, Peter, Andrew, James and John, Matthew, Philip, Bartholomew, Thomas, another James, Simon, Thaddeus and Judas. Meeting Jesus would change all of them forever. What a great story that was about how Jesus chose those people to be his followers. And now I do believe we're going to go over to VKids weather reporter, Sunny Day, who's going to tell us a bit about the weather and a little bit more about that story. So over to you, Sunny Day. Hi y'all, sunny day here with the V-Kids weather. Now, if you're out on the land, it's going to be, say it with me now, sunny. But if you're out in the ocean, it's going to be a bit more wet, so you're probably going to need your shower cap. Now, if you're out in the ocean and you're fishing for fish, that's the right place to be. But if you're fishing for people, like in our story, then you're going to need to look somewhere else. Now, this is where it gets super exciting because Jesus was looking for people to be his followers, wasn't he? Now, he didn't want people who were smart. He didn't need people who were rich. He didn't need people who were important, did he? No, he just needed people like you and me, people who needed Jesus, which we all do, don't we? So, he was looking for these people. Now, you can also find these people in your everyday lives, can't you? We're not looking in the ocean for fish. We're not fishing for people out there. We're fishing for people in our everyday lives to tell about Jesus and about the exciting message of Jesus as well. So, we can look in our homes. We can look in our schools. And we can look in our stores. We can find people to be followers of Jesus everywhere because Jesus wants us all to follow him. Now, he asks us to tell these people about him, but remember, they don't need to be anything special because Jesus loves everyone just as they are, which is super, super exciting to me and to you, I hope. So go out and see if you can find those people in your lives, if you can tell all about Jesus and that he loves them so, so much. So until next time we do the V-Kids weather, I'll see you soon. Bye. Well, thank you so much to Sunny Day for sharing your thoughts with us there about the story. And now it's time for our memory verse. So Hamilton is over in his house and he's going to tell us a bit about the memory verse now. Are you there, Hamilton? Hello, friends. It's memory verse time. And today the verse comes from Matthew 4, verse 19. And it says, Come. Follow me, Jesus said, and I will send you out to fish for people. Remember, Jesus asks ordinary people like you and me to be his followers and his friend. 
So you have a lot of fun learning that one this week and I'll see you very soon. Bye. It is time for our worship now, isn't it, Hamilton? So we have got a brand new song for you guys this morning and I think we better head over to Jenny Jogs a lot who's going to tell us a little bit more about it and teach us some of the actions. So over to you, Jenny. Five, six, seven, eight, one and two, three and four, but oh, hey guys, Jenny Jogs a lot here, just a dance rehearsal here in Melbourne, Australia. Um, but it's time for our worship warm-up, isn't it? Yes! So, before we warm up, I'm going to teach you some of the actions to our new song, which is called Alive. Amazing! So, there's a lot of dancing in this one. You can do a lot of freestyle. I know you guys have got some great moves. But I'm just going to teach you a couple of our other moves. So, we're going to be reaching up like this into the air. We're going to go round in a circle, a bit like in my lighthouse, but like this. Yes! And then we're going to do this one where we go elbow, arm, arm, out to the side. Great! Okay, so are you ready for the song? But first, we're going to do our warm-up. So we're going to do our 10 jumping jacks. So let's have everyone standing up, even the moms and dads. Here we go. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one amazing let's all worship together Safe in the 
Jason, did you enjoy that new song? We did, me too. It was so much fun, wasn't it? And we hope you guys enjoyed dancing along to that one as well. And we've come to the end of our VKids session for this morning, but don't forget we've got all of our fun activities online at vintagechurchla.com forward slash VKids for you to check out on there. But until next week, it's goodbye from me and Hamilton, and we'll see you very soon. Bye! Thank you.